Dance to express, never to impress. Dance to express, not to impress. Write this down. You ready? Dance to express, to impress. Eh. As dancers, we hear this particular phrase often, along with a lot of other corny yet true phrases. Dance as if no one's watching you. Dancing is like dreaming with your feet. You can dance anywhere, even if only in your heart. Nobody cares if you can't dance well. Just get up and dance. There are many more of these, all in which I think I might talk about in future videos, but I digress. Dance to express, all for it. Any art was made to express because each one is pure in its own right. I always thought that when you saw a dancer perform, you were seeing the real person, like an alter ego. I mean, a lot of dancers have different names. I'd say that was a form of expression. For instance, I sit here and talk to you as Dario B. Freeze, but my real name is Darius Fry, and my true to right dance name is Fina. But if a dancer is already being true to themselves as they perform, then I think that sometimes you can see what they're feeling at the time. Dance is like a mood ring. Hey look, another corny yet true phrase. Bottom line is that the expression that they're talking about um, in the saying will show the passion of the dancer, which is nothing to be taken lightly. Now guys, I'm not just throwing the impressed part out of the window. You know how it is when you're with the homies and you're ciphering. It can be fun to just show off a little bit. I mean, it, it gets me hype. Also, I think impressing depends on the goal. Sure, if I'm doing an exhibition, I'll probably be doing it for fun. But what if someone wants to make an impression? What if somebody wants to entertain the crowd? Does that make them bad? Not at all, because it's normal. In auditions and in competitions or battles or whatever, of course I want to impress. That's kind of the point. I mean, you can go and do it just for fun. Plenty of people do it, you know, it's fine. Just please don't be one of those people who say they're going in just for fun and then they get upset when they don't win. I thought you were in it for fun. If you want to get that part or you want to win that battle or you want to uh, win that competition, then I think that's fine if that's what you want, you know, like, because it's your goal and that's what matters. You want to impress, which is fine because you're not the only one. Best believe there are people out there with their eye on the prize. People who are on their A game. And you can tell who those people are because when they're up there, they're the ones leaving every facet of their heart and soul on that stage or in that battle or in that studio during that audition. And they normally end up killing it because they want it. And even though they're up there trying to impress, the only reason we know it is because they're up there expressing what they want in the process. Did this vlog just go full circle? In conclusion, I think the words impress and express go hand in hand sometimes. Just be careful with the phrase because I've heard people use it and then once they see somebody who may not be up to par skill-wise, they want to judge and make fun. Hey, I thought you just said dance to express, not to impress. He was just expressing himself. So why do you care that he's not impressing you? Own the statement. I'm done talking, Max. So let me come up with a new phrase. Dancers. When you express, you'll impress. Thank you for watching this video. This has been Dario B. Freeze with yet again another dance vlog. I hate that song. I always feel like they talk. Yo, I got an idea.